Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on Coronavirus Monday, 24 Feb. Uh, lots and lots of uh, fear out there. Italy infected. The Europeans are afraid. Euro dollar went down. Uh, cases in America. More deaths. South Korea on lockdown. Uh, you get the picture. Uh, S&P's right here. We gapped open. Opened at 10. Traded down to 85 and a half. Um, we're through this key uh, support. 33.05. My colleagues mentioned uh, on the week review. What can I say? It's it's course short. Obviously, you have to be careful of uh, of the gap fill up back up to forty. Uh, but course short risk uh, seems to be the way. Currencies are not reacting the way they reacted on Friday, as in there isn't this massive um, exit of dollar positions. But I do believe this uh, will be the inevitable inevitable outcome of this risk-off. Basically the whole world owns US stuff. Uh, they just started to commit uh, an add to US ownership. Stocks, bonds, and currency. Um, and currency mainly because of assets, right? So you have to buy NASDAQ if you live in Europe. You have to sell euros by dollars. So you have to sell euro dollars to buy NASDAQ or S&P or real estate or AT&T stock or whatever the hell you you own um, that's a currency trade and then when you get out of that when you sell S&P NASDAQ or, or whatever asset you get a repatriate to the currency which means you have to sell dollars so this is my premise we'll see you kind of know um, 107.83 if we get down below that the premise is wrong and maybe everyone's like well Europe is screwed or or um, what have you dollar yen is the exception why is that is because you know GPIF is buying yards and yards of dollars here so these guys are just getting into their dollars so um, there will still be support in dollar yen until this flow is done and then we have to just to decide whether dollar yen is even a risk a risk barometer um, but there's still massive flow going on from centralized names in Japan buying dollar yen so this is not a risk off metric as you can see equities got trashed dollar yen is nowhere um, so Dollar yen does not fit the theory that euro dollar and some of the other uh, dollar based pairs I think are following. So it's a little bit tricky. So, in the end, what does that mean? Is euro yen going to go higher for risk off? Mm, maybe. So, we're watching this carefully because it's flow driven. It's quite hard to tell uh, the logic does not dovetail with past logic so there's going to be push and pull on this um, tricky times in the currency world let's say tricky times gold take a guess where that is bang holy christ 85 the high mother of god look at that still got room Still got 140 bucks till we get to 1800. Um, I wouldn't own gold here, just my own personal preference, uh, and also because um, we miss this, so we're we're chasing it. So I'm not chasing gold up here. Uh, if you're if you're more clever than we were and you own this stuff down at uh, 1480, um, which would make sense, or 1490. Then you can trade this. This is not tradable. Um, it's very extended. Looks like it's going higher, but it's very extended, so it's 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 quite tricky. We prefer uh, for risk off is to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin didn't do much. Um, didn't do much overnight. It's actually down a little bit, but we do like buying Bitcoin in this.
this sort of uh, 9,500 to 9,000 range. We're trading the March contract, so it's a little bit higher than the cash contract here. So, but we're long only Bitcoin. We don't trade. We don't trade short Bitcoin. Uh, it's our belief that this is uh, going to go to the moon, and you want to trade it on the long side. And, and this is your risk-off metric. It is not acting like that today. On the currency world, what's your risk-off metric? There is none, right? Aussie should be crushed. It's not. Uh, it's just sitting here. Euro Swiss, obviously the SNB is here at whatever, 07, 08, eating, <laughs> eating euros. I wonder how many they bought. God bless those guys. Um, anyway, back to the charts. 10 year. This is actually a sell. 132. 13 and a half. Uh, we traded up to 11. There's a lot of hysteria embedded in this. Uh, this is basically one and a half percent yield for the U.S. 10 year. Uh, a place where there's a fair bit of uh, inflation. Sorry, we're below one and a half, 147 and a half uh, yield. The low in the yield is 142. First time down, it's it's uh, it's buy, um, and now it's just getting kind of spooky, right? Is the U.S. going to go the way of um, Europe, and our 10-year yield is going to go to zero? I do not think so, but you have to be open-minded to that fact. Do not be close-minded to absurdity. Anyway, first time you sell this 132.13, but then you got to be real careful. Um, eventually, if stocks go down far enough, everyone who, every foreigner who owns U.S. bonds as well, um, may have to liquidate those as well. Because if you have to liquidate a portfolio in its entirety, so say you have a uh, risk parity portfolio on, you've got to liquidate both sides, stocks and bonds. So be careful of this. We are sellers, uh, I repeat, which is a bit contrarian, we are sellers of ZN. Right around here, 132.10 to 132.15 uh, area. Back to currencies, still incredibly low vol, so let's not um, get too excited. Let's look at the calendar today just to see what's up. Obviously, stocks are driving the bus. We're not paying too much attention. Um, we do have German IFO, which is relatively useless. Uh, very light calendar today. We've got Mester speaking from the Fed. We've got Halliday from the MPC, two Muppets. Um, and then we've got German IFO, which is pretty meaningless. So basically, stocks are driving the bus today. Uh, keep an eye on that. One little chart here, I want to, or a couple more charts actually. Not quite at the 10 minute mark here. Dollar CAD, uh, I think it's going to go higher. I'm not sure um, what the story is here. I guess you could, you could say oil. I'll show you the oil chart in a second. You can imagine where that is. Um, we were short some oil over over the weekend. Um, if dollar cad can get below uh, get above eighty here, it looks like we're going to attack um, attack this one thirty three thirty. And and I mean, if you use your imagination, and um, it doesn't really take much of imagination, you can imagine the risk that Vancouver has. Um, for the virus, right? Considering the um, the amount of Chinese traffic that runs through uh, Vancouver, so we're watching that closely. Um, we just have to see what happens. But the charts are now saying uh, dollar cad is at risk for higher. You really your bingo number is probably one thirty two eighty. 
we have some we have some longs here just here through um, in the 60s anticipating a break of Friday's high uh, but watch dollar cad uh, we like that higher really just from a technical perspective crude uh, quickly bang um, holy Hannah that's like a buck and a half gap down to uh, 5164 crude is fucked um, you just want to sell crude on any any rally you can um, we have resales now at 52.55 the low on um, the low on on Friday so between 52.55 and 53 just bang the drum sell some crude um, see how that goes anyway a couple things to look at out there obviously try and be core short stocks uh, do not chase this do not hit 3290s here um, be patient this thing will move there is intraday vol on this stuff core short crude uh, and on the con if you if you don't believe any of this is true and, and if you if you really really bullish um, and smash ZN we're going to be tentative sellers of ZN because uh, we do believe this is true global demand we do believe global demand is screwed we don't believe that thousands and thousands and thousands of people are going to die and this is the end of the world we definitely do not believe that but we do believe that the world is afraid uh, and that's really what matters um, the truth probably lies in the middle as always but not the world isn't going to die so if you have anxiety uh, don't worry you don't have to take your pills um, but uh, this is serious as far as global demand is concerned all right now I've said enough uh, have a good day trading out there people uh, no idea when I'll talk to you all right yeah talk to you tomorrow ciao